Well, let's get you more details on that. Murky details that are now coming in in the Goa murder of a four-year-old child that continues to emerge and shock the entire country because where the Times Now channel, which has accessed the FIR copy, which underlines some gruesome and grisly details. The reports claim that the accused, the mother in the case, Sochana said, who had checked in at the hotel in Goa's Candolim with her son and the child apparently who was uh, smothered to death and uh, was then kept in a bag. In her, the body was kept in a luggage bag and thereafter she decided to flee from uh, the hotel and that to buy a car by road. Now, women CEO, we're looking at the mother, Suchna Seth, who has also been booked for murder here. Let's in the meantime talk about the details also now coming in on part of the FIR copy that we have also accessed and the details and the inside scoop that it talks about. As far as Suchna's call data, uh, details, the CDR, that is the call data records, that is something that will be pulled out and will be investigated. Another part of the investigation is that the police will be probing what all and who all did she actually speak to right even before the murder and before if she was in touch with anybody, uh, anybody who would actually raise some uh, suspicion. Who did the accused call on January 7th and 8th? Uh, all of those call data records will also also be checked and the police will also be probed if uh, Suchna said was also in touch with her estranged husband. There was a bitter uh, battle that was happening as far as within the family is concerned. And uh, was Suchna was also in touch with anybody in Bengaluru or not? That is uh, another uh, point of inquiry that will be conducted because here thereafter uh, she had decided right from Goa she will return to Karnataka and she had decided that she will go back uh, by road. And that uh, amounts to several hundreds of kilometers, this decision that was taken by her. But accused mom, in the first round of investigation, because remember, she's been uh, sent to six-day police custody. And the first round of investigation that happened yesterday, when she was grilled and questioned by the police, the investigation continues on the second day itself. And what is being said and is learned that she told the police that she came from a very disturbed family. And in addition to the post-mortem report saying that the child was killed by smothering and strangulation, the punch number report also gives out the details of the condition of the child's body as it was found. It is being said that the body had turned blue and there were signs of smothering that were visible on the body, even there were no external injuries that could be seen. And right from the room where the murder is suspected to have happened or committed, the police have also found Suchana's nail clippings that have also been sent for forensic examination. There is also a bottle of cough syrup that has also been recovered. So was the child drugged before he was smothered or strangulated by his own mother? Let's get you this exclusive visuals also of the said Innova car, which was apparently hired by the accused to travel to Karnataka by road. Now she was detained from this very car when she was traveling with the body of her own child who was stuffed in a suitcase in a luggage bag. Let's get you this ground report. We are showing you exclusively she has been brought from medicals. The visuals are being seen on the camera. She was taken to medical. This was her first day of investigation and the primary investigation suggests that she is evasive in giving answers and it's been seen that she is giving vague statement as well. Here we are showing you the exclusive visuals of Suchana Seed, 39 year old woman and she was trying to leave Goa through a cab which has been seized by Kalingur police station. Showing presence of mind, the police has already seized the cab as well as the suitcase which was stuffed by the body of four-year-old son and here we are showing you the exclusive visual that at night she has been taken back to the lockup where she has been given the police remand for six days.